Hello, in this video I want to show you how to create your own custom live Debian distribution using the i3 window manager. As easy as five simple scripts that you can actually download. There's a project in GitHub uh, called DenOS or Dinos. In the one, you have uh, just the five scripts you need to run. Either way, you can run it for the 64 bit architecture or the 386 architecture. And they both were really reliable. This will be a Debian distribution using the, the bootstrap. There's a file called Dinos Get Started. If you take a look to the file in ROM, you can see that actually it's only W get to a bunch of files and the scripts you actually need. So let's get started. Um, we're just going to start in a X Ubuntu um, installation. And this is running in a virtual box. And now, what I want to do is I want to create uh, my Denos, my Denos uh, folder. That's going to be my work folder. And what I want to do is I'm going to download the uh, Denos get started file from the from GitHub. And uh, basically, it's going to just download the file with wget. Uh, once I have the file, the permissions to execute. And I want to fire it, which is actually downloaded downloading all the files, the dependencies, and everything that is needed. Ultimately, only five scripts will run, but uh, you have the option to create. In this case, we're building the i3 window manager. So we ended with these files. The first one is uh, the prereqs, which is just installed the prereqs. I've done it before, but uh, if you've done it, if you the first time you do it, just do sudo and execute the file. And it's going to use the app get repository to update with Debian all the updates, get everything that is needed. I run it before in this previous video, so it's in, this virtual machine is fully updated, so no need to do anything. Second step, of course, be for that. Let's go ahead and take a look to a file called Dinos Config. The Dinos Config file. So it tells the name of the folder, which I'm going to call build. Um, I3. And this two should be the Denos I3 version 1. So, right here, um, it's going to create a folder called all oh, these editors. Build Venus I3. Um, build Venus I3 is going to create a folder in this um, path, and the name is going to be the ISOS Denos I3, which is, is good. Without those changes in place, I'm ready to actually execute the, the dev bootstrap, which is creating a temporary file using the dev bootstrap um, script and uh, synchronizing directly between the Debian repository and your temporary repository. Once it's there, it's going to actually be just like the Linux from a scratch project, start doing something for a real um, dependency disk. This part might be a little time consuming as you can see it's downloading all the add user apt, lib library base, core utils, just like Linux from scratch, every single dependency you can possibly need to start to build in your pre pre environment. That's what it's doing. Eventually when it's done, it's gonna let us to root within the new environment where we can, can customize and execute the script number three. Where actually we tell them what exactly we want to do. This is where we where we install the i3 uh, window manager, which is very fast, text-based mode, uh, super um, techy for the techy side. So here we are with the Cherud environment. Actually, I want to move my window a little bit up. You can see one of the Cherud environment. So if I do, I can see there's some scripts. If I I don't see a tree, the i3. I can see that it's actually going to be installing the i3, i3 status, the i3 tools, and uh, it's going to actually take care of that. So 
I can just go ahead and execute zero tree, the i tree, and execute the script, which is doing the similar things that we did earlier. In this case, just downloading the dependencies for for i tree in particular. Uh, this might take a little time. Again, just building, downloading all the dependencies, creating your own temporary environment, installing the dependencies. The more graphic or the more tools the longer it's going to take if eventually you choose to install a browser or office suite it's definitely going to take longer because it's going to be a lot more data through the wire in order to get that this is going to be very very quick very fast it's a simple um i3 window manager very lean and most specific for things that you really just want to get install nothing else Keep it things really, really small. And uh, I believe you're going to be pleased with the results once it actually gets there. Everything gets downloading. Now it's unpacking, selecting, installing. App tool is doing a great job doing all the requirements, all the installation. As you can see, it's moving really fast. And your environment might be a little slower depending on your bandwidth, your network connectivity, the closest FTP uh, server to the to Debian and your your machine, I'm using a solid state drive. Here you ask me for the keyboard layout, I'm just choosing the English. And later it's going to ask me for the root password for this distribution we're building. Um, it's doing the libraries, it's doing everything that is required for the some secure keys. And here we go, the Unix password for the root, which is something simple. We're done. The next script might be 04. We take a look to the script 04. This doesn't make squash, nothing fancy. So this might take a little longer depending on your I.O. in your drive. If you have a, of course you have an IDE, all IDE systems gonna take longer. If you have a SATA, it's gonna be faster. If you have solid state drive, it's definitely gonna be a lot, a lot faster. And uh, it's just building and compressing everything for this live image, everything that was installed in script number three. If you wanted to customize or so put more more files, more programs, the script number three in the within the true root environment is the one you need to edit or edit prior ahead and just kind of let it be copy and run it. It's just going to clean up itself. Once we're done, the script suggests us to go ahead and run it on the script five, which is just actually creating the image and make it bootable. So I'm just going to go ahead and execute it. And this is going to be very quick, 200 at least, 97 megs of size, not even 300 megs. Not a bad deal for a full distro in the home Dinos build, Dinos just like we set up. And this is the file name, Dinos i3 1.0.iso. I will have them copy directly to my machine. And uh, it's going to download very quick, 31%, 47. Once I have it in my local machine, I should be able to go to VirtualBox and attach this drive, this new ISO image, directly remove and I want to attach the newly created i3. And let's say fire in the hole, let's just start it. Let's get it going. And once it's started, it's going to give us a nice group starting. Um, as expected, the i3 window manager is going to be ready. I want to just, this is the live desktop manager. I want to say root, the password will put for root. And as expected, this is the i3 window manager. Couple enters, use the Windows key, enter. Um, I can see this window manager i3. And create more windows. And I can do, I didn't put H stop, I don't believe, but I can install whatever I want. Uh, it's just a Debian distribution. And you'll find it works just fine. Um, little glitch on the video, sorry about that. It's part of the key, so I'm still trying to find my way around my tree. Very cool environment. Very lean, very techy for the tech savvies. So, hope you enjoyed. Uh, enjoy the video, create your own distribution, and enjoy Linux.
have a great end of the year.